Let's talk about opening up. So last week I posted a video called Introvert vs. Extrovert. It was a video where I had filmed myself after I'd been out with my work and I had, I don't know, I wouldn't call it a meltdown, but I had a very, I had very strong feelings about how I was doing, what I was experiencing within myself that night. And I was so afraid, I was so afraid of posting that video thinking that people will judge me. Even the thought that the two first comments on that video would be, you're an idiot or you suck, what are you doing, why are you not doing what you normally do? I was genuinely afraid. But what happened was, the response was incredible. Um, I wrote about this on my blog, I have a Swedish blog, um, and the response there, uh, the emails I got, the messages I got, and obviously the comments on the video where people shared their experiences uh, with how they perceive the world and how they, uh, what part they play in the world. And it was actually quite incredible and I had this, it was, it was like this, this thing was lifted off my shoulders and I could relax and I, I realized that I, I don't have to be, you know, closed in. I have this platform. I have this YouTube channel, I have a blog, I have other means of communication where I can tell people about my life in the hopes that it will help other people. Because I've always been, and I I'm, still am, or I still want to be the strong one. I want to make sure that everyone else is okay before I start dealing with myself. That was exactly what happened uh, during the shooting at Virginia Tech where my thoughts were actually with the people, my friends and family back in Sweden and making sure that they were okay when in fact I was probably the one that needed uh, the, uh, uh, you know, reaching out or, or talking about it. Um, so I think that for every video I make within the series, Good Talk, I start to realize things about myself and I start opening up even more. And even though there's always gonna be doubts about what I do and what I say and how people can perceive them and how people can react towards me, both, well, mostly in negative terms, those things are starting to become smaller and smaller. Someone posted, and this made me so, so happy. I, I mean, I'm happy for anyone who responds in a meaningful way to my uh, to what I do. Uh, but someone uh, tweeted um, something like, I live for, uh, for, uh, for these videos that Martin does, that I do. And that is, I mean, that is the biggest compliment. Because we want people to hear us. We want people to notice us, not, not for the sake of I am famous, notice me, I want to be on a pedestal, not at all. I am really, really happy of where I am with YouTube because I can walk on the streets and people will not rush up to me like every 10 seconds, which is the case for some of my friends. But at the same time, when people do come up to me, it's really special because, you know, uh, it's a guy from Luxembourg or a, a girl from Brazil or someone has contacted me beforehand. It's just, I really, really enjoy that. And I think my message in this video, which is mostly directed to me because I don't, I don't want to tell you guys how to live your life. But if you want to listen to what I'm saying and have how, what experience I learned and how I apply them to me, then maybe that is something that you can apply to your life as well. So I'm going to continue to be open about things and not be afraid that people will judge me because I choose to be vulnerable. And I am so grateful for you people, whoever you are, wherever you are, for looking, watching and interacting with these videos. It means so much to me. You have no idea. So 
I am sitting in a hotel room uh, in the mountains in Sweden, uh, and I am going to. Uh, I'm gonna click that button that says record ends, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you for watching this video. Good talk.